Hi, I'd like to talk about the Google KMS today, uh, which is the key management service, and also uh, maybe do a demo on how to encrypt and decrypt data using symmetric keys. So, uh, what is Google KMS? Uh, Google KMS is a uh, Google Cloud's managed uh, key encryption service, key management service, that's what they call it. Uh, it allows you to actually uh, generate, use, rotate, or destroy encryption keys. Um, and you can use them for the rest of your GCP workflow. Uh, what kind of uh, algorithms are available? You can see that here over the right. Uh, these are the algorithms that you can use to generate your keys. So uh, let's start with some concepts. Uh, like everything else in Google, uh, your resource has to live within a project. And in that project, you would have to specify the locations for this uh, Google Key Management Service. Uh, the location can be either global uh, or in any one of those regions. Uh, the, for the difference, you'd actually have to look into the documentation because uh, it will actually tell you some of the capabilities and they are not available uniformly across all regions. Uh, in particular, some people would like the hardware uh, keys and uh, certain regions do not have them yet. From what I see, it's normally, uh, for now, it's those regions that are particularly new, but uh, you never know how things change, so you'd have to constantly look up the documentation. Um, so in that location you will have a key ring a key ring is like a purse it sort of uh, it's it allows you to group all your encryption keys into one of them obviously in that key ring you will have a lot of keys uh, depending on what you do uh, since uh, this is a key management service uh, you can have versions of your keys yeah, so that's what you have with uh, this KMS. And now uh, what we'll do is we'll look at what type of keys can you have. Uh, there are two types, basically symmetric. Uh, symmetric is the type of key where that same key can be used to encrypt or decrypt data. Uh, the second type is asymmetric. Uh, that is, uh, the key will actually have two parts. The public key which you can give anyone and uh, that will be used to actually encrypt data that's meant for you. There will be the private key which only you have. Uh, that will be used to decrypt uh, data. Yeah. Alright, and uh, as for charges, uh, Google charges uh, on a per key per month basis. Uh, uh, the charges for a hardware key is a bit higher at uh, 1 USD per month. You will also be charged for the amount of operations you do on those keys. Uh, it's at uh, per 10,000 operations, you get charged about 6 cents or something, uh, 3 cents I think, for something like that. So it's pretty reasonable. If you have a requirement for hardware, uh, based keys, uh, it's slightly higher, but yeah, it should be. It's not that big a difference. Um, as for permissions, what kind of permissions do you need? Uh, the first thing you'll need is the Cloud KMS Admin. Uh, this is a role that you give to operators or administrators. Uh, this allows them to create a key that you can use to then encrypt or decrypt data. This admin role does not allow you to uh, actually use those keys. If you want to use them uh, in order to encrypt, you have to assign uh, the identity uh, uh, Cloud KMS crypto key encryptor role and to decrypt it, uh, you need to uh, assign that with the crypto key decryptor role. Uh, okay. There are a lot of times when you need to use both those roles, so they have sort of a shortcut, Cloud KMS, Crypto Key, and Crypto Decryptor. And you also have to note that this uh, permission is on a per key basis. 
so you would actually have to uh, assign it multiple times according to who or what you want to access each key so uh, right now we are going to go into a demo of uh, using asymmet uh, symmetric keys I'll first start by explaining the infrastructure that we are going to use All right. so uh, we will have uh, two buckets here uh, the incoming bucket which stores all the data that you want to encrypt it will be passed on to this uh, GC instance called reception uh, this person can only uh, en encrypt uh, the data uh, according to who needs it and they will put it in the uh, mail room uh, bucket so uh, in this bucket uh, these guys can actually pick it up and decrypt the data accordingly as for permissions you will see that uh, yeah each one of them has their own uh, service account permission yeah and uh, let's uh, what we would need to do is uh, assign the reception with the cloud crypto key uh, encryptor role and as for the uh, actual consumers of data you can assign them the crypto key encryptor decryptor role because they will be uh, taking those and actually consuming the data so they have to decrypt it um, so how do we uh, actually use this cloud KMS thing well in the API library you can click on this enable button here that will enable it or you can use it from uh, do it from the command line G cloud services enable cloud KMS Google APIs dot com uh, this shows you what happens when you try to enable it uh, from the cloud shell yeah and this is like sort of the random output that you get when it finishes okay the first thing you'll need to do is actually create a key ring yeah you can actually uh, go into the uh, cloud console burger menu security cryptographic keys and you can choose the create key ring option that brings you to this page here and you can uh, add the name of your key ring and the location you can also do it from the command line and that is this uh, command right here and once it has been successfully done uh, in the key rings you will see uh, you will see a, a key ring there so now that you have like sort of the uh, group or the purse so to say you would have to create keys inside there for them to use so how do you do that well to create a crypto key you can use the UI and you can choose uh, first you'll have to go into the key ring itself and then you can choose a create key that will bring you to this particular menu where you can actually uh, set the protection level uh, the name of the key and the purpose as well as the rotation period for this demo I'm just going to use never because I just want to show you how to use it and uh, you can also do this from the command line and this is the uh, syntax of how you actually uh, do that so uh, once you've created this uh, the next thing that you would have to do is uh, you would actually have to give permissions to an I uh, Google identity to use those keys so uh, that would be like a service account so for example like for the sales key that we're going to create for the sales department to use we would actually have to assign uh, the sales service account permissions to use that key how do you do that uh, this is uh, how you do it in the command line you can see uh, G Cloud uh, KMS key add a IM policy sales key uh, you must specify the key ring the location the service account that you want to enable and the predefined role that you need to uh, get that so since uh, sales uh, the sales service account is actually the owner of this key I will give it both encryptor and decryptor permissions for it to do what it needs 
Um, once we have done that, if you actually look in the menu, uh, uh, you will see that the sales key has uh, encryptor and decryptor permissions. This uh, sales service account. Uh, the reception service account, I only gave it encryptor so it can use that key to encrypt stuff but it can't decrypt it. So uh, that's the permissions that it got. If you explore it in the actual uh, uh, Google uh, console, you can see here like this the sales key and uh, if I choose show in four panel, you can see them here. That's, that's what's uh, going on. So once that's done, uh, let's go on to actually encrypting files. This is the syntax to encrypt the file uh, using the gcloud CLI. Uh, you could also use the API, but I'm not going to show that to you because that would involve a bit more programming. <laughs> yeah. So um, And to decrypt the file, uh, this is uh, the syntax. It's about the same. The only difference is you uh, uh, You can see here when I encrypt the file, it's uh, encrypt and I uh, give it the plain text file and the name of the file encrypt uh, the file name that I want to encrypt it as. And as for decrypting it, it's just uh, decrypt. Uh, same thing, but uh, this is the output file, the name of the decrypted file. So, um, yeah, let's uh, look at a demo. So, well, I'll first go to reception. So, what we'll do is uh, if you see here, there's a uh, stuff from a try I did just now. I'll just delete it all. All right. So, uh, the first thing we're going to do is copy over uh, the intended data for this um, so that will be let's go in here let's go to the uh, incoming uh, bucket and there's these two files sales.txt and hr.txt we'll just copy them over So uh, we've got those uh, files there. I'll just delete the one that I don't need. Right. Right. So we've got these two files here, hr.txt and sales.txt. Uh, first thing we'll need to do is encrypt the files and put them into the uh, mailroom uh, bucket. So uh, I've already uh, created the scripts in advanced. So uh, how, how would I encrypt them? Let's have a look at one of those uh, uh, scripts. So encrypt HR. All right. You can see that I'll define the HR key, um, the name of the key ring, uh, sorry, the name of the key ring here, right? the name of the project, the location of the key ring, the name of the file to encrypt, and what the encrypted file should look like. Let's uh, first inspect the contents of the uh, of the uh, unencrypted file. That's this. All right. So you got this uh, employee locations. Maybe it's uh, sensitive data. So I'm going to encrypt that file right now, and I will use encrypt HR. All right. So I'm just run ran that command, and you can now see that this file uh, there's a there's a new file here, hrtext.encrypt. So uh, let's have a look at the contents of that. Ooh. Well, as you can see, it's uh, well encrypted binary junk, which you can't do. Um, since we are here, I might as well do the same thing for the sales file. So for reception to encrypt the sales file, they would have to use the encrypt sales you can see I'm using the sales key instead so let's just run that um, encrypt sales. and if I do an ls you can see the sales 
data has also been encrypted. Let's have a look at the before, which is this. And let's see what the encrypted data looks like. Yeah, it's uh, junk again. So these it's encrypted, no one can see it. So now we can actually put it in a public bucket. So either one of them can take their data. So let's do that right now. Uh, the name of the bucket is all right. So let me just copy it over. All right, so both those files have been copied over. So what we will do next is uh, we can see these are the VMs and uh, oh yeah, for what I forgot to show you was uh, which service account the reception is running under. So I'll just have a do that here. Okay, you can see that uh, this uh, virtual machine is running with the reception dash SVC account which is the uh, service account it only has encrypted permissions which is why it could encrypt data using both those keys so now uh, the next thing we're going to do is let's go to the HR virtual machine let's uh, have a look here and let's okay so um, First thing I'll show you is which service account this uh, virtual machine is running on. Okay, you can see it's using the HR service account. So uh, what we can do is we can go to the, uh, let's go to the, the, the buckets here. And let's go to the mail room. And there are these two files. Uh, HR can see that there's a new file intended for them. So let's copy it over. All right, so uh, we'll copy that file over. Of course, I did not specify the URL of the bucket. So that's uh, going to be a bit of a problem. Let me do that. Okay, so I've copied over a file. Let's have a look at the contents of that file. All right, it's, it's still encrypted junk, so we can't do much with it. So we would have to decrypt it. How do we decrypt it? Well, I've already pre-populated a script for that. And let's look at this. All right, so uh, this is the same thing, the Cloud Key MS decrypt, uh, name of the key ring, the key to use, the project, the location, the encrypted file and what you want the plain text file to be. So you can see the, the important thing is this key here. That's the HR key that it needs to use to uh, decrypt data. And since we know that this uh, service account has uh, encrypted decrypter permissions for the key, it can actually use that HR key and um, uh, decrypt data. So let's do that right now. Let's uh, decrypt data. So we'll have a look. So that's done. And you can see this new file, hr.txt. Let's, uh, let's uh, cat that file and see what's up. All right, you can see that it has successfully decrypted the data and we can see the contents of it. It can now continue doing whatever it needs to with that. So now let's move over to the sales guys. So the sales guys, they are in their own uh, GCE instance right here. And uh, let's start by deleting anything I have. There's nothing. That's great. So uh, the sales see that they have their own. Uh, there's a, they look into the mailroom bucket and they see that they have a file there that's meant for them. So let's copy that over. GS details, CP. Uh, All right, I'll copy that over. And when you have a look at this file, you can see it's uh, 
encrypted junk and what service account is uh, is the sales VM using let's have a look uh, it's the sales service account here so uh, this virtual machine will be able to decrypt data using the sales key because we did set permissions for that just now and uh, let's do that I've already predefined it in a script So, uh, okay, that's uh, been decrypted. If we have a look now, we'll see this new file, sales.txt. So let's have a look at this in sales.txt. All right, that's the decrypted data. So that's uh, symmetrical dis uh, decryption for you guys. So, you know, it's uh, that's how it works. So now um, the next question that some people might ask is, um, what happens if I use the wrong key? So uh, let's just say like the sales guy, right? He, okay, let's go back to that question. Uh, the sales guy, he uses uh, the wrong key, like he uses uh, the HR key to try and decrypt his data because uh, he can see the HR key, but he either typed it wrongly or something, right? So uh, let's see what happens. I, I actually put everything in a script up front. So, uh, sales followed by wrong, which one is it? Wrong key. Yeah. So, all right. So, uh, see, this is uh, basically the sales guy trying to decrypt his data, but using the wrong HR key. Let's see what happens when he tries to do that. So, let's script. Okay, you can see this interesting error message. Error G Cloud KMS decrypt permission denied. So basically, it's telling you that uh, used to decrypt is denied on this HR key. And that's the main reason for that is because uh, this guy is this guy is the sales service account he does not have permission to use the hr key to decrypt data so that's a uh, that's a uh, pretty cool so and then the, the second question that you might want to ask is uh what happens if i try to use someone else's key to decrypt their data so let's just say hr the sales guy is being naughty so it's like he, he sees that there's this HR text. Let me see if I can decrypt that using my key. Maybe I can see what's in there. Might be interesting. So let's just copy that over. Yes, util CP. I'll just copy that here and this you can see I have this file if I try to view it in its encrypted state obviously I'm going to get junk so what uh, what uh, sales is going to try and do is uh, try and use his key to decrypt uh, HR data so uh, let me see if I have that in a script here uh, sales decrypt sales wrong Okay, so um, what I will do is I will edit this file and I will say I'm going to use the sales key and what I want to do is uh, decrypt HR's data. So let's see if that works. All right, I'm going to type this file. Left tab completion and you can see this new error invalid argument decryption failed verify name refers to the correct crypto key so that's another thing that happens you see you, if you're using the wrong key to decrypt a file you will get an error so well this short sort of this demo actually shows you the power of uh, Google's KMS and you really see it when you combine it with uh, IAM. 
So you know, with the identity access management, you can actually uh, limit who can use this key, and you can use that to decrypt and encrypt data as well. So well, you know, that's uh, that's pretty good. And you know, for the cost uh, versus maintaining your own service, it, it it's quite good actually. So I'd say it's a it's it's pretty good deal. And at, uh, with this, we come to the end of this demo. And I'd like to say thank you for watching and see you next time.